weapon, 10 down, a weapon to go. Hello, I'm Jaden Mighty Mess, where the God of Wells begins, but hey, Taijian, and it's time for my long awaited pick a video, a weapon. Then, and this is also a first, this is the first pick a video of 2022. Um, also, this is also a first for this, this series that I've done for like the past couple of years or so. And that's majorly because we are going to be adding, um, by we I mean JD's LC, but we're going to be adding a new element every like 10 picky videos. And I decided we're going to be adding uh, Blu rays and movies. The reason for that is because I am um, a huge, I'm a movie guy, obviously, as well as a video game guy, not just video games or anime, I'm a movie guy as well. So we're going to be adding Blu rays. But first, we're going to get start with one system that I've been trying to get a hold of for a very long time. Yeah. And just a heads up, before we start, um, two things. Uh, things. Uh, one, I'm going to try to make this video quickly as usual. I'm not going to ramble on about every game, even though it is a pick video. Um, going to try to go as quick as possible because I don't want this video to be an hour long because the past couple videos have been an hour long before. Two, one, I'm going to say the same thing. I said it before and I'm going to say it again. We are close to 100 subscribers. There, so please hit the, down, the like, subscribe button if you can. I already added the about page because of thanks to all you got to all, everyone who supported this, cha this channel. So really appreciate it. it we can we can still get to get that su support. I really appreciate it. But now let's get started with the main sh show. Oh, we're gonna start with the system just to get it out of the way because it's extremely heavy. Yeah, uh, uh, this is gonna be a bitch to carry. I'm not even joking, but finally picked up a PlayStation 4. I was really glad to finally get one. I'm gonna put this down actually because I don't want to damage it because PlayStation 4 is uh, very expensive and hard to come by, and I've never been able to find one for cheap. The only option I had to get to was to trade in my Xbox One collection, and I'm about to plug it. I actually have it unplugged. I'm gonna plug it back in once I'm done recording. I, I'm not gonna put it in the shot in the thumbnail, obviously, but you know it's whatever. All right, now that's all the way. Let's get to the Blu-rays, and then after that, we're gonna let's do the games. So, um, the Blu-rays. Um, story about those is that, um, and I'll try. I will try to talk about the story of how I got them. But again, I'm gonna try to show the games in quick week because we gotta get through this. But yeah, the Blu-rays is that I was not willing to build a Blu-ray collection, but I actually got these Blu-rays from a friend of mine who works downstairs at the dorm, and his name is Jacobson. He hooks me up for this. I was like, oh, I was gonna pay them, but. He was nice enough to give these to me, so um, thank you so much, man. And so, and so let's, let's show these. Um, we have, um, these are really good, these are all anime movies. These are not live action, anime, well, they're animated, but they are anime, so. And they are the most done of our studio, or by Studio Ghibli. The most the Studio Ghibli and those like movies. Anyway, we have From Up on Poppy Hill. This movie I'm actually really excited to see. Actually, I haven't seen this one before. Never knew about it. Marion, Marion, a witch's flower. Miss Haso Hakusai. Uh, it's what was one studio by Ghost in the Shell. Ocean Waves, is which is actually pretty cool. Box. So too bad I was not a fan of this movie. Oh, only yesterday, of course, that's Daisy Riley, who was in Star Wars, the Star Wars sequel trilogy, which is awesome. Secret World Already, which I've seen, of course, if you follow me on Twitter, I've seen this movie. It's a pretty good, very good movie. Better than Tortora, but not as good as Howl Movie Castle. The Tale of Princess Gaia, aka one of the last movies, but I'm not sure who the guy is, one of the last movies but by one of the studio guild because before his death, Savage was the Peace. The Wind Rises, it, it, which will be Miyazaki's final film, and one of the last two Ghibli films before um, Uri and, and the Rage, whatever it's, you can call that movie, when Mario was there. Pretty pretty cool movie. No, I've never seen this movie, it looks pretty cool. Alright, so now we're going to do, now let's get to the games. Uh, this time I'm going to go way more quickly on. Uh, because I decided to just get out of the way. So we'll start with the original. We'll start with the original Xbox, and then we'll do PSP, um, PlayStation Two, S Switch, and PS PS Vita. My one Switch and PS Vita game. And then the Wii, and after these ones, we'll go a little bit more detail of. Why am I saying that order? Because we need to get through this. Because this is gonna be it, it was gonna make a long video. But anyway, for Xbox, we have Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Walkdown, PSP game for the PSP. 
Um, and these games I actually just found. Well, one of them was an eBay purchase, but these games, but these sports games I found in for at the thrift store. So we have MLB the Online the Show, FIFA Soccer 09, and FIFA Soccer 10. And this one was an eBay purchase. Um, R Type Command. Yeah, there we go. Um, which is not a lot of guns. This one wasn't too interested. For the PlayStation 2. I'm gonna get get these. Um, and this one, I, we got Madden 08. Um, I know Madden 08. I didn't. I don't have this one for 360, but for PS2, one of Scott the Wall, one of the major Scott the Walskins got this one from Kevin. And I was actually working for a movie, and he gave this one to me. So thank you. We have Sky Odyssey, which I found at the thrift store. And uh, I was really glad to find this actually for five bucks at a thrift at a Goodwill on a Musha. Which heard's an awesome game. I did say I would trade in the Onimusha collection, but we got to add Onimusha property to the collection. There's a bit of to over to shit. You and I didn't have a lot of money. For this for my one Switch game, we have yeah, Puyo Bird Tetris 2, which is actually a really awesome game. I mean, it's actually how I got introduced as characters like Aro Ninja, who has actually been around with, but it's probably been around this for a while. And my one PS Vita game, um, and we have uh, it's actually a pretty cool game actually. Um, better than the other game, another game I'm about to show you for PlayStation Four, Dengeki Bunko. Which if anybody has to this the game on PS3, please let me know because I'm going for 100 PS3 set. And of course for the Wii, the um, to finish off the not so good stuff. Um, off quickly for the Wii, we have Rec Room Games. Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots. Unfortunately, this does not have a manual, so if anybody has a manual, please let me know. Apologize about that. Sorry about that, I had to sneeze real quick. But anyway, we have, continuing on, we have Lord of the Rings Argon's Quest. Battleship, which I asked, this is one of this is actually one of the games I used to own on the Wii, but in my first game before I sold it, trading out one of my stuff Wii games to get Jump we just get a PS Vita, a PS R, and then game PS Vita, but it's still really cool. And this is a kind of an uncommon game. I don't see this one very often, but it's not that expensive. And it's We Play Motion. So pretty much with this, I just need a few of the Wii series. These, um, these, um, games. Names. And then I, I need Wii Music, and then I need a back of Wii Sorts. And then I'm not going to be done with that set. Subset. Anyway, now let's go... To the ex to so I will go into a little bit more detail of maybe not this one but but yeah next up we what's what's your Xbox sixty next right yeah what's your Xbox sixty next um because you know where Xbox sixty is my favorite console of all time I am going for hundred percent three sixty set everybody knows that and these games are really nice additions to mark off the list we have so of course we have this is a condition upgrade obviously we have. Halo 3. So I'll start about this one. I'll try to make it quick as I can. Um, so I I had this game, but it was not in the best shape. And then I got this game. I found I found this game at a flea market again, but it had the man of some reason. For some reason, I didn't pick it up at the man oh, at a flea market. I'm so glad. It's kind of regretting it, but I'm so glad I did. You know, I had the game ready, but if you're not, it was missing the manual. I did not know that. So now it has the manual, so it's officially complete now. So, I, so because I found because I found the manual, I so I finally had to complete the box Halo 3, which is awesome. We have this game I had factory sealed, but I got a complete. I was able to find a complete copy of this one, FIFA 16. And those are all of the conditional goods that complete copy. These are the ones I made to the question because I did not have these. We have uh, oh that that's about, that's actually a dog. You were actually we were actually there's a dog over there, which uh, maybe not no, not really, but we have a dog over there. I'm actually I'm actually record, time of recording this. I actually have a, a adorable doggy. Yeah, so but anyway, getting back on track, we have. Fever Soccer 13. And 16. And this is kind of a little bit uncommon, but not that expensive. Enough. We have Disney Infinity 2.0, which I know I did not have this game. Pretty much with this one, I own every Disney Fin console. Home. I own every 7 generation version of Disney Infinity 2.0, which is crazy. Gears of War, which unfortunately this doesn't have the manual. But I actually found this at a drift store, which pretty much means that this eventually completes the Gears of War subset for the Xbox 360, even though it's missing the manual. Same thing with this game right here, which I actually been looking for this game for a while, I was not able to mark it off, it was a really good price. Devil May Cry 4, which I've been looking for, the, I've been looking for this one for a while. I still have yet to play this game, 
But, but I have played with some of the Devil May Cry's, um, which are really good. Of course, it's complete. And that means this is just like Gears of War. This is the last Devil May Cry I need on the 60s. And I have the full Devil May Cry subset on the 60s, just like Boys Blue and, of course, Gears of War. So I need to go for pretty much Halo, and that's, that will pretty much be it. We have Tekken 6, which I've been looking for. I've been looking, I've been looking for this one for a while, actually. It was actually, it was actually really cool to get this on the 60s. And I, also, I also own this game on PS3, but... So we're going to find out the there's six here with the suit cover and the suit cover unfortunately the suit cover is in poor shape but so we cover otherwise and finally for the 16 this was a real surprising find I never thought I I never thought I'd actually find this at book off uh for some bugs you remember thinking oh it's a pretty young copy wait till you see it um it's monsters versus aliens but this is factory sealed so which is crazy like I never thought I actually would never thought I actually would find this actually yeah, you fight three steals. All I need to do is find a complete copy. Now that I can sell the premium one and make some profit out of it. Again, what I typically do is I, I keep, if I find a factory sealed co game, if I get it for a reasonable price, I will keep the factory sealed copy. And then I'll sell, uh, when I find another complete copy, I will sell the factory sealed one and make some profit out of it. Or trade it in, obviously, to get something I need for even more credit. Anyway, let's do, uh, you know, I was going to do 3DS. Let's actually do Super Nintendo, actually. First, actually, because I don't have a lot of Super Nintendo, I didn't have much. Not that I didn't score much with Super Nintendo compared to the next consoles. Oh, I wore more to show. So, is these are Super Nintendo. I don't have Super Nintendo games very often, but so, so unfortunate because I don't find them complete. I do find, get them from time to time, but I actually found these three um, video games in New York, actually, so these will be a nice addition to the collection. We have NBA Showdown. This one I actually scored for a really good price actually, even though it's it's even though it's technically it's not it's not a good game. But it actually makes me angry, but I don't. This was for twenty five bucks. It's missing the manual, but this actually goes away more if it's in the box and even more if it has the manual. So we're going to get it for a reasonable price. We have Arrow the Acrobat, which is not a great game though, but it's still on it's a little bit on a little bit pricey compared to the box. And finally for the Super Nintendo, we have. Spanky's Quest. Um, I played this game on the Switch Online before I got an actual copy. Was I was not a fan of it. Got very frustrated. So let me go. I actually found this Nintendo copy because I don't see it very often. So I, and I actually have it in the box. Which is pretty cool. All right, let's move on to 3DS. Um, this, this one made the shortest video I've done actually. But again, I'm trying to get this stuff quick done. I'm trying to get this video done quickly. Um, so the story about 3DS is. I have officially decided that I'm going for 100% 3DS set. That, um, yeah, 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 I'm going for, I'm going for 100% 3DS set. I, I officially decided that, and these games, these games, I don't, I don't want to cross through these games very often, but I would got like, fit, like, 15% of the, the set out of the, done, so, so pretty much all I have to do is, like, get, like, the, the next 350 more, and then after the set will be officially finished. So it's like these guns are really nice to add to the collection. Then we got Steel Diver, which I found this game. I found this game for three bucks at Book Off, which is really cool. Uh, this is a Black Label copy, but it's actually it is a bit stupid looking. So the Wretched Zelda Ocarina of Time, but again, stupid looking. Uh, this is the Saudi Arabia version. So the story about Saudi Arabia versions is that if I, I don't keep them, if I have the game already, but if I don't have the game, and I if I if it's a, the Sony Raven version, I get it for a really good price, that or I basically keep it, I get it for free. Then pretty much I'll basically keep it once, if, or if I need to upgrade to a black label and I can't find the other one, the original which then I'll keep it. Then eventually I'll I'll sell once I find an actual black label. I'll sell. I mean it's all black label regardless, but it's still would stick to it. But still really cool regardless. We have Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, um, Su Super Mystery Dungeon, which, which I don't find very often. It was actually really cool to get this from my brother. So anyway, the next game was I just beat, actually. Um, pretty uncommon game. I don't see this one very often. Uh, Metopia, which I got from my, I got this one from my brother. Same thing I got, uh, this game, Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Uh, this game I never run across. It's not super expensive, but I don't run across this game very often. And, okay, if you're going for 100% 3 said you need to get these titles with this out of the way. So it's really cool to get this one. And speaking of games, I don't want to cross very often. 
And this is actually where well, I got this game. Uh, I didn't get some Ocarina of Time I got from, I was, I, I, from Dominic's the story was that um, I actually had a couple of 3D, some games, 3DS games. I was like, I have a couple of them since he had the Zeldas, which was actually really cool. He had Ocarina of Time and this, which I've been looking for for a while. This one in particular, I did, I did not own. This is a new addition to the collection. And then we have, um, it was really cool to get this one for a reasonable price. The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask 3D, which I've been looking for this game for a very long time. I've never been able to find it for a reasonable price. And the fact that Dominic actually was not was generous and nice enough to get this the game from the grid, that really, 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 really makes me happy. I'm, 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 it's much obliged and much appreciated. So thank you to Dominic for hooking me up with this. All right, so next up, so next up, let's do um, let's do position three. Let's do position three next. Um, yeah, and now we're gonna get to the that's just we set with the get that get the generics out of the way. I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little bit more detail with these. Um, these I'm just gonna move. Around. I'm actually using a table to move it around. Um, I'm gonna just move it around real quick. There we go. All right. So. All right. So next up is do position three. Okay. Um, so I actually got a good amount of PS3 games. If you remember my last video, I basically had a big PS3 load. Unfortunately, this one is not as big, but, but that's okay because I actually have two um, two in common. I actually have one in common and pretty one pretty rare PS3 game, which I'll save to the end of this section. The stack and this stack I'll see. But yeah, and let's get this done. We have iPad. Unfortunately, a lot of these PS3 games are missing the manual. Unfortunately, so. That's kind of more unfortunate, but you know what can you do. We have added on nine. This is a very bad shit back there, but I got this from Book Off, so yeah, it kind of sucks to get a game, a mad game in a Book Off. But I actually got for two fifty, which is a lot, a lot less than what they typically go for. What, what they do to go pay up for store, which is crazy. We have Wonder Book, Book of Spells. Okay, so story about this game. Um, I never run across this game before. I've never run across this game before. I actually asked for information about this game. I looked it up on eBay. It's not like this is a super expensive game, but this actually comes with a book, a special accessory, which is the book for you, which you need to play this game. And then else, you also need. Um, it also comes with a big box. The book for this game is hard to get. The big box is even more hard to get with it. And then you need the extra suite, which is even more. What even more rare. So getting this fully complete with the big book and everything is extremely rare. So even though it's not the most expensive game, this is still pretty uncommon. And so because I don't want to cross this game very often. Again, I'm going for 110 PS3 set. Everybody knows that. Obviously, I'm not going to repeat myself on it. But I, I mean, I think we all know that I'm going for 110 PS3 sets. So I'm not going to repeat that too much. But yeah. Anyway, just one point that I anyway, we have Wipeout 2. Which unfortunately this is also missing the manual, but it does have a code. I'm not gonna show the code. Um, because I'll see it. it's expired, but I don't want to show it off anyway. But anyway, we have Madden 15. Just dance forward, which actually is a pretty good game to trading at GameStop. Unfortunately, this is, I need this game. Um and uh, it's it is complete. It, um, I need this game because I'm going hundred percent of my nose side. Funny story about this one, this is actually covered in chocolate. Chocolate. Uh, I, I, you guys know what me, 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 I'm going to come through with this one about me, but yeah, um, this is a really cool, it was covered in chocolate. I was able to get, I believe I was able to get the chocolate off, so it was actually really cool to get this one. I had the dress off with, with the chocolate. I think the story was out the games, according Nick Jones, like the story was 30% off. Uh, only, 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 only because, only because, um, they didn't have the manners, but I think it was a good way. It was nice to hug, me, hug it up for me. We have Everybody Dance. Which, unfortunately, sucks about this game. It actually has a whole bunch in the thing, so that sucks. So it's going to need an upgrade. We have Tiger Woods PGA Tour uh, 10. Uh, this is a really cool pickup for me. Um, This is another Factory Seal game. FIFA Soccer 10. This is going to say Factory Sealed because I'm, I'm never going to open it pretty much. But I found this at a thrift store for two, five bucks. Unfortunately, this has a rip. So I might just, might, I'm probably not, probably never going to open it pretty much. Cause it's, and if I want to sell it, I could basically make profit out of it. But I need, it's a regular one. I need it. 
And you also have this one I got from Kevin. And we're starting to get to the better PS3 games. We have Warhawk. Which actually I'm also player only game but I need it because I'm going behind the set. I did want to cross it at Buck Off, but um it was actually but it was actually I don't know what the price was it was so good I didn't get a Buck Off because got it from Kevin. It was not an expensive game, but I need it. Um, we have Mon Nation Racers, which is pretty cool. Which I actually been working for this game for a while actually. It was really cool to get a hold of it now when I did. And this 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 next thing about so this game this game, this game has been sticking up my time actually recently. This is an awesome game. I've really been, I've been playing this game recently. Um, I got this game recently. I've really been intrigued, and I've actually been enjoying this game. And so, and of course, I'm really excited to play more of this game when I get the chance. Uh, so, but the game I'm talking about, and I found, I, I played this on Steam, but I wasn't a fan of it. And now I'm playing on PlayStation 2. I'm intrigued. Uh, I'm hooked. Um, this game is really cool and very really fun. It's a little repetitive, annoying at times, sure, but. It's a really awesome game of God was um that the game is I I guess I guess of our partner of his assault. Which I found which I found this game I found this game uh book uh, not book office I found this game at GameStop which was really cool to get this one. It is complete. It was this is a, this is an awesome game. You've not played this game, please play this game. This is an underrated game. And the last two games are that's are actually kind of kind of an un pretty uncommon. Uh, this one in particular is very uncommon. I don't see this game very often, and 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 I actually got this game for a really good price. Um, it's uh, I've, off eBay. <laughs> hey, and the game I'm talking about is Sony Miku Apache Diva F. Um, yes, there is a second one which is much more hard to find, but it's really cool to get this one. This is not. This is not. This is not. This is not a game I want. This is not a game I want across very often. And I think I, I think I run across one of video games now, but some reason I didn't get it. Either way, so even it would have been, been cool if I got it off of video game, uh, video games now. But still, we're going to get this one. If anybody has part part of the F second, um, please let me know. I'd love to get that one as soon as I can. And follow for the PlayStation Three. Um, for that at the show. Uh, so this is a very rare game on PS Three. Not a game I'd never run across this game before. Uh, I did run across it before, but book off was. I even got, I could have got it cheaper, but however, um, I was it was it was I got this game off Christmas. I decided to be, I decided to be their Santa and decided to get this game for a reasonable price. Also, so, so very happy. Even though I did overpay for this one, uh, it's a rare game, um, and you need to get the rare games on the PC when you can. So I was really good to get this game when I did. And the game I'm talking about is Dynasty Warriors Gundam Two. Very, very happy to have this one, and finally, finally, finally marked this huge, pretty big heavy off the list. Uh, even though it's not a good game, though, but still a pretty uncommon game, so very happy to have it. And not to mention Mr. White White. Believe it or not, Mr. White White actually did a PlayStation 3, a rare PS3 game. That's how I got a hold of it, but this one, I knew this one was very rare. So, it was very really cool, to get, and thank you so much for the help, actually. Uh, I'm probably not going to leave any wanks about it, but... Yeah, but so very cool that he and if I ever do find a game that the reason why because I didn't score on it if I did again I overpaid for it but so it is whatever anyway next up let's do uh, PlayStation 4 um, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna move um, I'm actually gonna move um, uh, I'm actually gonna move um, DS actually because we're gonna do that next and then after that we're gonna send we're gonna end with a very special system but a, but a, but a big one so, oh god. Anyway, let's continue on. We have we have some PlayStation Four games next. Um, and we have another game that's I'm pretty sure that's actually pretty uncommon. That I don't see very often. So actually, two of them are actually uncommon. Actually, we have Star Wars Battlefront, which I actually traded this game. I actually um, I actually traded this game, I believe, to a video game store, or but uh, but the and I did not. But I need either back to the collection. So it's a good thing I did. I'm also gonna. I'm actually gonna move these two games. Okay. We have Scribbernauts on 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 mass. Uh, not on mass. I have Scribbernauts Mega Pack. Uh, Lego Harry Potter Collection. I got this game on PS4 for a couple of reasons. One, Papa. Two, um, Erica Harwacker was streaming it on Halloween. So, but even that's actually Erica Harwacker. That made me get this game for and when I when I went when I went across it, and it's a good thing I did because this is well not an expensive game but 
Yeah, he's well. Yeah, she's streamed there. But so thank you to thank you to Erica Harbacker for letting me know about this one. We have Car Story Drift in the Wind, which um so because so because basically all these three all these three PS4 games I found I found at housing market for three bucks a piece, which was pretty cool. We have. World of Warships, um, Legends. Unfortunately, it was sucks about this one. This was factory sealed, but it was in the seal was in such poor shape that I had to open it. it unfortunately, I'm not gonna say where I opened it, but I had to open it. Unfortunately, so that sucks. It ain't it, it, it was like tape or something. I don't know. But still, have to get a pre on if I just on a sealed one and sell it. And we're starting to get we're starting to get to the better games actually. We have. Dragon Quest Builders 2. Um, this game was had been sinking up my time until I got stuck, and haven't been able to come back to this game. I do want to come back to this game and actually finish it, because there's a quest that that I do need to do. Um, but I'm just trying to figure out how to do it though. We have um, the most boobies fan service ga fighting game you can get. Not a good game though, but it's actually kind of an uncommon game. Natural Plus, um, Natural Plus Blasters, Infinite Heroes, Infinite Duel. No, wait, well, because I was one of the most sexiest freaking anime girls. The most sexiest freaking. It, it, it's not a good game, to be honest. And I was actually working for the fighting game. The sexiest game sucks. Because um, it's basically it's basically all these anime girls. And they're fighting. They fight, they pit each other against each other. And they do anime things, to be honest. That's right, the final boss was annoyingly hard. I had to put the game on easy. Even on easy, the final boss, the boss fight took like, like so, so many times. But uh, next, next, this game is awesome. This next game about the, just this this game is actually the RPG I'm actually currently playing. This game is awesome. Um, I really been, I I did show this game before, but I'm actually currently playing this game at the time of making this video because and this is this is a really really awesome game. And I've actually been really, I've actually been really enjoying this game. Uh, one of my favorite, probably one of my favorite games I beat in this year. It's I I oh my god this is such a great game. If you want to talk about an underrated classic by the same people that made Trials of Cold Steel and Ease, then the game you are looking for is Tokyo Sanadu EX. Unfortunately, it's got a little sick of residue right there, but this this is a really awesome game. Uh, the characters are super likable. Um, this the world building and setting is really good, but this is such an awesome game. Like what this game does is that it has the combat. And gameplay of the E series, but the exploration is more like the Trials of Cold Steel front game. So it merges both to the two games. It's one not to mention, not to mention this game takes place in a more modern setting, similar to Persona, but it does it really, really well. If you are not playing this game, please play this game. This is this is a hidden gem, and not in my opinion. This is such a great game, and I rarely see people talking about this game. So please play this game. It's so good. And then, and probably for the PS4, and so happy to have this game. Kind of an uncommon game. Yes, JD spent 35 bucks on the PS4 game, but I don't want to cross this game very often. They had a couple copies in this game in stock, but again, it's not a game I want to cross very often. It was really good to get this one when I did. And that's Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Um, I already showed this game in a, a video before, but I did not show it here. Uh, it's got codes actually, so. Uh, is that yeah? It's got a code. I'm not. I'm not gonna show. I'm actually not gonna show it actually. So, so which I'm probably never gonna use. But so still a pretty uncommon game, and um, I, I actually play RPG mode. It's okay, but it's actually a, a game developed by Arc System Works, and it's, 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 it's actually really cool. I mean, here just for my own. This is not one of their best per se, but it, it's got Zeta, aka the waifu. Well, not I guess the, one of the waifus in, in my book. Well, oh, welfare is so so good. She's so cute and pretty fun. But not that's enough about that. We got we got DS, and then after that we're gonna end with I'll, I'll say it's like what we're ending for the end actually. After I tell you guys DS, so I actually have two DS games, which is not a lot until you realize that one of the the DS games I have to show is actually a extremely rare DS game. Which is actually why I'm saving the DS to a little bit later because actually I actually have one game that's extremely rare. Uh, but I'll say that because we showed that first. We have Pokemon Dash, and, and which is not a great game now. And this is actually the game I was talking about. This is a streaming rare game on the DS. Very hard to find. Um, I, I never, I've never seen this game before in my life. And 
And this was the first time I, I ran across this game. This is a hundred. Uh, this is a two hundred dollar game. And very expensive. Um, and the story about this one is I traded in a bunch of my games to get this one, which is stupid, obviously. But it was my. It was actually a of my Xbox One, which I got also a few PS4 games. Sadly, some of them which I got from Muhammad, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to make up for that. But so a very rare game, regardless. I was really, really happy. Really happy to get this one because. I really want to cross this game. It's actually a really fun and cutesy game. Uh, it's not worth the 200 bucks. Don't get me wrong. But it was a game what I paid to get this one. It was actually really cool. To finally, finally get another hard game to find on off, on the off the West. And the game I'm talking about is Italia Annie. And I'm about to read Alchemist of Sierra Island. Which is uh, one, of the, one of the hardest games to find on DS. It was a very rare game. It's an art... Uh, it's an R it's an R it's an RPG. Yeah, um, it's actually more cute than RPG, and that's just one of the characters. It's actually really sexy and cute, back back character. But yeah, still so very so very, still very rare game. Regardless, I'm very happy to have this one and finally finally mark it off the list. Yes. So that being said, let us end with the last system for today is right now, the NES. So I'm actually gonna move. These games. Right there. Okay, there we go. Alright, so this is actually going on by very quickly, actually it was actually really awesome. It's, it's actually nice to it's actually really nice when I get to end my pick of videos with under an hour, under 40, 40 minutes. But I think that's awesome. Even much that I don't have to stop. But anyway. So story about the NES games. Um so I don't I wasn't going to quit the NES and then I got these games and I was immediately hooked. Um with the system. This got me to start thinking about collecting for the system. And it was actually really cool to get these ones because these are really awesome games. Um I only accept one of them. But the reason why I'm saving this to the end of them for the end of the video is because um these are I scored the uh, majority of them at the show. I scored these games for I scored one of them took I scored really, really big on, which is absolutely crazy. That I scored. I scored this game for a reasonable price. But anyway, let's get let's show let's finish off with the NES. I have four games to show. We have uh, Major League Baseball, which this is my first ever LGN game. So after AVGN did that video, it was a really great episode, two or three part episode. So, but it has doesn't everybody go see go see that episode if you haven't seen it. It's really cool. But anyway, we have this is a really awesome gamble game and. I did find this game off eBay. Uh, book off, uh, book off. Actually, had it for thirty bucks, but not book off. Sorry, um, Jay now had this game for thirty bucks. So I actually got. It. I didn't pick it up. Pick it up at Vintage Games in New York, because actually I like um twenty third, like a twenty five, twenty twenty five, twenty twenty five game off eBay and got the game for a price. We have Vegas Dream, which is a really really awesome game. Um, I've never been hooked. I've never been this hooked to. I've never been this much hooked to. Yeah, there's something about this game that really made it very special. Unfortunately, I lost my file, so I had I really have to start over. So that sucks. Oh, because again, I believe not actually got a new phone actually, but still not awesome game, guys. And the last two games for the video, um, you know, um, these are actually very rare games from DS. They're pretty really uncommon to get cards only in the box. They're very very rare. And I have actually been looking for these two for a very long time. So it was actually was really cool to get these ones when I can. They can. And they're actually both by Konami, so it's actually really cool to actually get two hard, hard Konami games to find off the West. Uh, and, and it's actually really cool. I have them complete in box, which is amazing. But yeah, first up we have, because we have Batman Returns on the NES. So the story about this game is that I found this game. I found this, I got this game on. I, I was I had the opportunity to get the Super Nintendo version. For eighty bucks, um, for whatever reason, I didn't pick up that. Yeah, I didn't order that version, and now that's like a hundred dollar game to get. And this is another hundred. This is also a hundred dollar game, but um, but however, I get. I was able. To, I was able to get this one. I was like, I'm not letting this one go. Especially what happened before. So and I have in the box protector to protect it, which is awesome. I get all the same things I have in box protectors. So it was actually it was, and I paid eighty bucks for this one. Which is kind of ironic because I passed them through this in one, but I paid 80 bucks with this one. It was really cool. And finally, for this for an NES, and uh, the last game I have to show for the video, I cannot believe I have this game. I'll complete in box. Um, 
which is absolutely crazy. You you never come across this game complete in box. And uh, and this game, I cannot believe I scored this game for super super cheap. Like I I actually caught Video Games New York slipping big time. This is a very rare game uh, complete in box on the then he asked, um, as, uh, and I, and I paid 40 bucks for this game, but I actually had, even better, is I actually had trade credit, I, I traded some stuff to get this game, for, for cheap, and this, it's just, it's just amazing I have this game, and it's one of those games where, it's, it's not, well, while, while I'm not the biggest fan of it, um, this is still a, this is a, over $100 game, $100 plus game, complete in box, and, it's just amazing, that, I, I now own this game complete in box and I scored this game for a reason really, really really good great deal on this game. It's just crazy. But that being said, that um without further ado, I give you guys a complete box copy of King's Quest V. Now I will say that when I got it it didn't have the manual. However, um, I, was, I was able, in situations like this, I was able to order the manual off eBay. So because I paid 20, so in, in the end, I paid 20 bucks to get the, I paid next to nothing to get this game, uh, $20 to get this game complete. So for 20 bucks, um, I finally own a game, completing the box. I never thought I actually ha would have, like this is a 150 or $200 game, depending on the condition. And it was actually, it's just amazing that I have this game now complete. So, it's a really awesome game. Of course, King of Quest is an awesome series. I know a lot of people are into series. I'm not too big into PC games, but, well, it's up Steam, obviously, but still a really, really, really awesome game. And a really awesome Konami game. And a really awesome game to mark off the West. It's one of those games where I never thought I actually would have complete. It was really crazy that I scored this game for original price. And that being said, that is going to do it for my latest pick a video, pick a video 11. Uh, really, really, really appreciate all the support you guys have given me. And it's even better, actually, that I was probably able to get this video under 40 minutes, which is, and even better, is under an hour. Which I thought, which that's what I'm trying to, what I want to try to aim for, try to get these big video done, but I'm trying to make get them under an hour. Because my, 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 my expect to 60 questions, like, the longest video, the yeah, question video on YouTube. I'm not even joking. It's not even a live stream to begin with. So, it's actually really cool. Really cool that um, I was able to get this under an hour, 30 or 40 minutes, so let's keep it at that. And that being said, uh, I'm JD, my master, the guy that goes against the hates IGN, and you guys have an amazing day. Take care.